Hey guys, this is Zach from Say What Zach here, doing our NHL preview video for tonight. So, gonna do the preview now, and then later tonight, after all the games are over, I will be updating the scores and the standings. So, that's what's on the board right now. So, I'm wearing Pittsburgh, Carolina, as you can see, they're both playing tonight, and I will explain why these are the two I'm gonna be watching, but not watching the games. I'm, I'm gonna keep track and see who what happens in these games for a different reason. But anyways... Getting into this, uh, the games I'm going to watch, uh, for sure, I'm, I'm going to jump around and see a couple of other games. The two I'm going to mainly focus on is going to be the Florida Panthers taking on the Washington Capitals at 7 p.m. And then the Edmonton Oilers taking on the Colorado Avalanche at 10 p.m. Those are the two games I'm going to really pay attention to, give you some notes on uh, when I do the review video later tonight. Um, Florida's 12-7-5, Washington 16-4-5. Power play percentage for Panthers is 24.7%, which is 5th in the league. The Capitals are 23.8%, which is 6th in the league. The Panthers' penalty kill is 83.83%, you know, which is 14th. The Capitals is 832 which is 12th, so they're relatively close to the penalty killing. Goals for the Panthers are 3.54, which is 3rd in the league. The Capitals are 3.52, which is 5th in the league, so they're relatively close to the amount of goals scored. But... The goals against is where they differ. Uh, goals against for the Panthers are 3.58, which is 30th in the league. They're almost dead last in the league for goals four because they allow a lot of goals. The Capitals are 2.92, which is 12th in the league. So they're middle of the pack for goals goals four. Um, two players kind of just keep an eye on. Jonathan Huberdeau and John Carlson, a couple of star players for these teams. See how they do. I probably won't really give you any updates on them, but those are two players that are I might keep an eye on just to see what's going on. The rest of the games for 7 p.m. will be the Red Wings uh, taking on the Maple Leafs and uh, the Maple Leafs taking on Detroit, should I say, in Detroit. So the home teams are on this side, away teams, home teams, away teams. So I'm going to do it from now on. A lot of games that night because tomorrow's Thanksgiving. There's only one game on tomorrow. So almost all the teams are playing tonight. So, yeah. So the Red Wings taking on the Maple Leafs at 7. You got Buffalo taking on Calgary. You got Ottawa taking on Boston. Tampa taking on St. Louis. New York taking on Carolina, and Pittsburgh taking on Vancouver. So the reason we're in Carolina, Pittsburgh, Carolina hat, Pittsburgh jersey, is because they are very close to each other in points. So this these games will decide who's where in the standings. I'll get into the standings a little bit in a minute, but yeah, that's 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 why I'm wearing that, because this, this could change the standings, this, these two games. And the last one is the Flyers taking on the Columbus Blue Jackets in Columbus at 7. Jumping over to this one, you got 8 p.m. You got, or 8 p.m. Eastern Star Time, which is my time. You got Nashville taking on the Golden Knights. You got Arizona and the Ducks at 9.30 p.m., which I might try, I'm going to try and catch some of this game or that. I'm, I'm going to try and watch these two games as much as possible. I'm, I'm cheering for the Coyotes this year. I'm trying to watch their games. Uh, and I will probably watch this one too. The Islanders and the Kings, because uh, I got... The San Jose Sharks Kings game the other night was really enjoyable, and I've been cheering on the Islanders as well. I'd like to see them continue their their winning ways. So, I'm gonna probably watch that one too. But that's a 10:30 p.m. Eastern Start time. Then you got the Sharks and the Winnipeg Jets at 10:30 p.m. as well. So you got two 10:30 games, a 9:30 and eight, and then a ton of seven o'clock games. And then you got the Oilers and Colorado at 10 p.m., uh, which I will be watching. So that's why I'll try and catch these ones where I can. Oilers. 16-7-3, uh, Colorado 13-8-2. The power play percentage for the Oilers is 32.4%, which is second in the league. Colorado is 19.8, which is 11th in the league. Uh, penalty kill, Oilers are 86.8, which is second. Colorado is 77.5, which is 21st. So the Oilers have been pretty good on power play and penalty kill. They're tops of the league. They, they've been a really good team this year. Goals four, the Oilers are 3.19, which is 12th. Colorado is 3.52, which is 4th. And goals against, 2.77 for the Oilers, which is 8th, and 3 goals against for Colorado, which makes them 16th. Uh, Drysaddle and Makar are going to be the two guys kind of paying attention to, because again, Drysaddle and his amazing point streak run that he's on. And Kale Makar, I think he's going to be the, the Calder Trophy winner this year for best rookie. But yeah, that's all the games for tonight. The standings haven't changed since last time I did them, but that will change possibly tonight with all the games on. So you got Edmonton Oilers still in first with 35 points. Coyotes at 31. And this is the uh, Pacific Division. I don't know the division, sorry. 
Uh, Coyotes are 31 and with second. Vancouver at 28 points. They are third. We got St. Louis at 34 points. They're first in the match. Oh, sorry, the Central Division. Dallas at 32. Winnipeg at 29. And then the wild cards are Colorado with 28 points, so their first wild card, and San Jose with 27, second wild card. So that's the west, the east side, east side, uh, the Atlantic Division. Boston's at 37 points for first. The Panthers are second with 29. Montreal's third with 27. The Metropolitan Capitals are 37 points. The Islanders 34. Carolina's 31. Wild card you got Pittsburgh with 30 points. And Philly with 29. So again, Pittsburgh's only one point behind Carolina, not going to a wild card. So if Carolina loses this game, Pittsburgh wins, they could knock well the 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 Carolina Hurricanes there go blank kind of names out of the playoff into the wild card. And even if Philly wins and they lose, can knock them up even further. So we'll see what happens. A lot of things could change on this board tonight with all the games going on. But yeah, that's the quick little rundown of the uh preview for tonight's action a lot of games on uh, again we will be post i will be posting the uh the review of these games later on tonight once all the games are over and done i'll be posting it tonight but yeah that's that's the overview so if you guys are looking forward to it let me know which games are you looking forward to because again I, i've been picking these games i'm look the teams i'm looking for and i'm cheering for that's one of the games i try and watch where i can I'm trying to at least watch one of every game before i rewatch another team so that's where I started last video. I watched Dallas and stuff like that, so I won't be watching certain teams until I watch at least one of every team, and then I'll rotate through again. But yeah, let me know what games you guys are looking forward to, because I'm excited for all the hockey on tonight, and I will be watching tomorrow's game at my aunt's house for Thanksgiving. I'll be watching that on the phone, because <laughs> that's what I do. But yeah, anyways, this is Zach from Stay With Zach. Uh, thank you for watching. Give it a like and a subscribe. Again, let me know what games you're looking forward to. This, uh, uh, and oh, sorry, and we're still doing Movember. We got last week from Movember donations. So if you guys want to help with men's mental health, still doing donations for that for a few more days. Okay, all right. If you guys like the video, thank you for watching. Talk to you again soon.